chapter 34, electric current. Electrons in motion. Electric current is electrons in motion. A uh, current is the number of electrons that pass a specific point in a circuit in one second. All right, there's I represents current. Q represents quantity. The electrical charge. Uh, T represents the time period. Uh, charge is in Coulomb's. In our last section, we talked about Coulomb's law. And static electricity. Or each electron has a specific charge. Each electron has a specific charge. Every time you add one electron, you add one more electron charge. Numerically, can you have half of an electron, electron charge? No, it's got electricity on here, but I'm not getting a, a crack. I'm not getting a, a current, a movement of electrons from here to my hand in such a great number that we see this zap, right? A large current. Because each single electron doesn't carry a lot of charge as we refer to electron charge, but a buildup of a lot of electrons. Uh, circuit. Electro, electric current flows through a closed continuous half. We can have a battery or we can have a generator. But what we have is we have a power source. Right? We have a power source source of electricity, a, a volt source. And a circuit needs to start on one point and go all the way around to the other side. Right? The circuit has to be closed. If I open this circuit, does that allow electrons to flow through it? Electrons flow. In direct current, they flow in one direction, in alternating they flow back and forth, back and forth, like someone sawing on a log, right? Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. What happens to saw if you saw if you saw really fast? What happens to the saw? It gets hot. Gets very hot. All right, what happens to a, a light bulb filament when the electrons go back and forth really fast? It's hot. It's hot. It's so hot that what happens to it? It glows, right? It's so hot it glows. And this is how an alternating current works, right? The electrons go back and forth very, very quick, and that causes the filament to get hot. And it gets so uh, hot that it glows. The reason electric charge flows from one place to another is called voltage. Right? Voltage is the potential difference between two points, A and B. All right, when you have an electric potential difference, uh, click it again, right? You have unevenness, all right? You have unevenness of electrical charge. Right? You have a lot of charge on one side, hit it for me. That's high electric potential. And you have a low charge, hit it. And you have low charge on the other side, right? This is a potential difference. It would even out. And this is what electricity, electrical flow, when you have a potential difference. When I had more electrons on this metal sphere than I had on my body, what happened when I put my hand next to it? The electrons came over, they jumped right off here and onto my body, right? They wanted it even out so that there was the same number of electrons on this sphere as well as the voltages of that push that makes electrons move. The voltage is that push that makes the electric, electric charge, the electrons move from one source to another. And that creates the current. Once they begin moving, that creates the current. Generating electric current. Uh, we have electrochemical cells, a battery, which uh, changes chemical energy into electric energy. Two types, wet cell and dry cell. What is this? We have uh, thermocouples. A tool that uses differences in temperature to generate electric current. And next. And then we have the generator. They make alternating current. 
Batteries have direct current because the charge in the chemicals flows from one side to the other side of a battery. So we have a positive and negative side, and when you connect the two, electrons flow in this loop. Now in the other sense, this is a generator, right? Power stations all generate. What they use is they use magnetic fields to generate electric fields, to move electrons back and forth, all right? Magnets have a positive and negative side, a north and south side. They're called North Pole, South Pole, just like the world. And a positive and negative uh, part of a magnet. Uh, we have a bar magnet, and inside we have, I mean, we have a horseshoe magnet, and then inside we have bar magnets. This is an old electric generator. This is an antique electric generator. It's so antique that it even has the fabric um, electric. When I turn this, like I said, it creates an alternating current. And just like that saw, right, if you take a saw and you saw it back and forth, the faster you saw it, the hotter the saw gets. When I spin this, it flips the electric, electron current back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. The electrons go back and forth. Every time it flips over, back and forth, 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 back and forth. And when this happens enough, when you do this fast enough, right, back and forth. This is the same thing, except this is a modern, this is an antique one. It doesn't work as good as one. All right, when I do this fast enough, the filament starts to get hot, and the light bulb glows. Know that from Mr. Cognetti too. See that? Is that a pencil sharpener? No, it's not a pencil sharpener. It's the it's same thing I have here. This turn. is easy. Start turning it. Is this easy or difficult to turn? It's very easy for her to turn, right? Now, look at this light bulb. Turn it fast, really fast. So easy. Now, is it easy or difficult? Difficult. Now is it easy? Easy? Now is it difficult or easy? Alright, now notice the difference. If I unscrew the light bulb, she it's a it's uh the circuit's open and the electrons are moving. So she doesn't hit she's not pushing electrons in a circle. She's just generating this, spinning this. Once I close the circuit, now she has to push those electrons. Did you ever think electrons could be so heavy? No? Alright. As she does this, there's resistance in here. The electrons, they don't want to go. They're pushing on each other. The resistance in this filament doesn't want the electrons to flow as fast as she turns this circle. Turn it real fast. When she turns real fast, the electrons start shoving each other so hard on this filament that the filament bright, glows bright red. All right, we see here, this is how the generators work in a power plant. In a power plant, uh, what we have happening here, oh. what we have happening here is a giant turbine, which is in sense it has these magnets spinning around. And if you have coal power plant, the coal is burned, and the heat and the steam produced by burning coal causes the turbines to turn like this in a circle, and that creates electricity. In a nuclear power plant, the heat creates steam in the water source, and then that steam engine makes it spin. If you have this hooked up like the Hoover Dam, Danielle, if you have this hooked up like the Hoover Dam, when the water flows through, it makes it spin like a big wheel. And that creates it, but it spins real fast. And this generates all electricity in these giant turbines, and that creates all the electricity that flows through the United States through a giant grid, whether it's the East Coast or the Midwest or out uh, Los Angeles and California.